guys, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. Guys, we have a huge haul. This bag, as you can see, there's a few little things poking out, is jam-packed. And you're going to realise, Shan Yu is really getting into the month of February. There's a lot of pinks in here. There's a lot of, like, love-themed goodies. There's some staples, there's some non-essentials. I mean, what is a strip to Primark without some non-essentials? But I don't want to rub it on because I feel this is going to be quite a long haul. Oopsie, shall we get into it? Let's get in and see what Primark has got to offer for the month of love, the month of February. Yes, please. <laughs> right, so first off, I thought the bag was blooming cute. I saw this at the checkout and I was like, oh, I did have one of the regular white ones in my hand and then I saw that baby and I was like, oh, can I swap my reusable bag please? She was like, what one do you want darling? I was like, I like that checkered one. I was like, that looks very, very nice. Now, it's going to be in no particular order as per all the Primark hauls. We simply just pop our hands in and see what we get. I thought I'd get myself some more claw clips. However, I got the classic ones. Guys, these have gone up to 250. I swear they used to be 150 or a quid. I was like, um, when was the last time that I bought clips? I don't know. Normally I have the little clips, the um circular ones, but I've got like a claw clip like this. And I thought, it's always handy just when I want to shove my hair up. Like at the moment, my hair looks atrocious from the side because it keeps puckering under my collar. So apologies if that annoys you, my lovelies. Don't moan at me, okay? I already have red and I already have pink, but the new spring colours are out of the six pan sets. And I don't have orange, so as soon as I saw this, I absolutely loved it. You know me, guys, I am a size 10 for reference or a size small, which is 10 to 12. Everything gets a try on clip except the underwear. No one needs to be seeing these. But these are such a dupe for like your Calvin Klein. If you have been following me for a while, you know that I have several colours of these. And um, I do get slightly carried away when I see a new one. I'm like, oh, you need to get in my basket. Like, you need to jump in my basket and we'll just forget about it. They had a neon green and a purple but I need to go through and check what ones I've got because, oh, got because, oh, got because, oh my goodness, did you see that the bag almost capsized? It's too much weight in it, right, we're just going to have to balance you on the knee. Please don't tip. Stay. Because silly me actually deleted the notes on her phone, which had all of the colours of her sets. But I knew I didn't have orange, so that was good to go. Right, this one I thought was an absolute bargain. However, this is going to be the type that molts. I got a scarf, I think it was November, December. The white one. Oh my God, it's molted everywhere. Is that the word? Molted? Shed. It shed a lot. And, um, <laughs> safe to say it ruined my work hoodie. I don't know if this one will whether this is just fluffy, but this was £8 down to £4. So I thought, bargain, half price, but I just love the colour waves of it. Pinks, we're, we're very pinky this month. Grey, and then the cream. And I love the little tassels on it, and it looks like a big, chunky scarf. So I was like, you know what, we'll pick you up. I mean, I know I have a gazillion and one scarves, however, that one for a bargain, and the price, and the style, I actually don't think it is going to molt. I think it's just one of them, you know, like the really, like the mohairy soft material. But, however, if it does mould, I picked up some lint rollers. This was £1.50 and you get the roller with the holder, one insert and a spare one. So I didn't think that was too bad. I couldn't see though, I'm sure Primark, you used to be able to buy the inserts on their own. I feel like you used to get a pack of three for like a couple of quid, but I couldn't see any of them, so I thought, hey ho, we'll pick one up just in case because mum said when she tried to get the fluff off of the work hoodie, oh, it was a nightmare. She broke the roller, <laughs> great, and um, I had to resort to putting sellotape on to try and get it off, so I was like, right, that is well and truly needed. It is well and truly needed indeed. These wasn't well and truly needed, but I got sidetracked. If you go Primark and don't pick up underwear, 
even if it's just the one pan thongs. Underwear always seems to creep in my basket in Primark. So I got a three pack of thongs. These were four panned. You got a gorgeous like heart style for Valentine's, which I thought was so, so cute. And then you just have a plain red and a plain baby pink. And you know what? These are always essential. These are always essential because... <laughs> I wouldn't like to say they last years and years. I mean, I've had some of mine a good year or so, but you know, sometimes when you put them on and you just think, nah, it's coming to your time, chuck it in and then get a new set. So you can get them singly with these songs, one pound each, or they do three for four pound, which actually is daylight robbery. Maybe you're paying more because of the patterns one. Saying that, I think the thongs are still one pound, the singulars. They might have gone up to 150 actually. Oh, I don't know, I'll have to have a look. Even if so, in essence then, you're paying £2 for the pattern thong and a pound each for that. It's Valentine's, it's all about self-love, eh, guys? Right, I'm going to tip this because I really don't trust this. And as you can just see, there is colour. There is colour everywhere. What are we going to go with? We'll go with something that ain't pink, okay? We'll go for this. So, I picked myself up a new little pair of spring pyjamas. Now, I thought, when I first saw these, I got Nan vibes. This was something that my Nan would totally have worn. But then I looked at it and I was like, oh, it's kind of cute. I actually really like it. So, the set of pyjamas now are £8. I feel like they used to be 6 or 7 but okay. I got a size small, which is 8 to 10 But I got, like, this green little flower design. It's got, like, little lilac lace on the bottom. And then the top is just a lovely little vest top. I know it's not going to be to everyone's cup of tea. I know that. But I just thought it was really cute. As I say, you'll see in the try on clip how they fit on. These are always, without shadow of a doubt, foolproof. They are so stretchy. There's nothing digging in. Elasticated waistband. As I say, I'm sure they used to be six or seven, so they've added a quid or two to it. But you go into Boo Avenue and you'd probably pay well over 20 quid for something like that. So you have to take the swings with the roundabouts. I should have had my hair up with a jumper like this. I do apologise, that is slightly irritating me. <gasps> All right, let's get one of the biggest things out. Guys, I bought a cushion. You probably think, Shan, you do not need a cushion. But I haven't bought a cushion from Primark for ages. And I saw this and I was just like, oh. So as you all know, my Christmas stitch, which is actually not here at the moment. I've got all of my heart cushions out. My Christmas stitch is in the hall because I've been unpacking for when I got back from Log Cabin. He is like my new little baby. He is, you'll be seeing him all throughout the year, not just Christmas. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, I need him. So this was £8 from the Disney Stitch Collection. So you can just have it plain if you just wanted... A blush pink little velvet, crushed velvet effect pom-pom cushion. You can. I got it because of Stitch. And it says, do what makes you happy. And I love that saying. I thought, you know what? I am going to do what makes me happy. And I just absolutely loved it. And I thought, Stitch, he can go with a Christmas Stitch. So he's not feeling so alone. £8 I didn't think was too bad for the Disney range because some of the bits are expensive on the Disney collection in Primark but I think they're slowly starting to try and get a little bit more reasonably priced because obviously stuff is getting more and more expensive as I say we can see like the £3 thongs are now £4, the £5 sets are now £6, all of these little pounds add up and we just had a letter through that our council tax is going up almost 9% you know when you think like <laughs> this is such a diversion but my council tax i have no idea what it pays for because we have street lamps out all the time we have potholes galore i could probably count 20 to 30 pothole areas on my way to work for a half hour journey um they've closed all of our libraries and turned them into other things they have shut any youth centers and turned them into other things the supermarkets they're trying to restrict the hours on so i feel like what am i actually paying for because i don't see it it's supposed to be increasing um police presence on the streets you never see a police person on our streets never i can't even remember the last time i saw a policeman no i can't remember probably like last summer when i was at work and that's a totally different borough 
So, uh, yeah, I just saw it and I was like, really? I was like, on top of how? How do you justify that? But hey ho, that is um, Great Britain for you, eh? I saw this and I thought this was very practical. So this was, there weren't a tag on it, but it was £9. And it's a little like crossbody bag. We all know I love a good crossbody bag at the moment, but it has several compartments. So it's got two sections, which I just thought was actually quite, I would say unique. Well, it is kind of unique. So if you had something like with your documents in one bit and then you wanted your purse in the other, it just separates it up. I thought that was really, really nice. And I saw it and I thought, nine pound, not too bad. It's kind of going to be one of those everyday bags. You know that at the minute, my everyday bags are my crossbody Vivians. But I don't want to use the Vivians all the time because then they lose when I want to use them like dressing up. So I thought I just want a practical crossbody bag for when I'm going to work, chuck my bits in, put it to the side and I'm done and dusted with. So yeah, I was actually very impressed with that when I saw it. And I've been on the hunt. When I went away to the log cabin, I realised I hardly have any makeup bags. And oh, what's this? A free pizza is in your app. No. Please do not allure me with pizza today. It's Mother Nature, so you can guarantee like my cravings are. Whoo, I've got a lovely bar of chocolate sitting over there from the gin distillery that um I really really want to try. But when I was packing for the log cabin, I realised I didn't have like proper little bags, so I had to go into my suitcases and find my bags from when I go away abroad. So abroad, I have the ones. Oh my goodness, my phone is bleeping away. <laughs> um, abroad, I have the three. They're kind of like, you know the ones where the zip goes down the middle and they're kind of like a triangle shape? So I have them for my toiletries abroad. And then my makeup normally just gets like chucked in a bag inside. So I thought, you know what? I saw this, it was £4. And it's kind of like from the Valentine's Love Heart range. I thought this is perfect because I can put all my makeup in here and it's not big enough so that I can like not put it away. I can just put it behind my dressing table and then whenever I do go away, whether I go a little weekend away um, to a hotel when I have to go and see Dermot Kennedy, I want to try and book a hotel. This can just be like my little overnight toiletries and makeup because I would be able to get roll-on sprays, face wipes, makeup. That's a good little size for four quid. However, I may or may not have seen another one that uh, may be scooting around in there because, you know, you see one and I'm just like, whoopsie. i tell you what, you would not think I am 27 years old, would you? I saw these and screamed, let me tell you that. So, you know, Primark has like a Disney bakery section. These were supposed to be £2, but they was down to a pound. So I was like, bargain. And oh, they are so cute. They're mini Mouse measuring spoons. How cute is that? Four for a quid. I mean, even four for two quid. So we have a quarter of a teaspoon, a half, one, and one tablespoon. These are just really gimmicky. I needed a new little set for when I do my baking here. I've actually got on my list a set of proper measuring spoons and cups whenever I move out. Like, I want to go back to, like, my cookery days with the proper stainless steel ones. But for here, I needed a little set. And I was looking on Lakeland, and I was like, can I justify it? Probably not. So when I saw this, I was like, I can justify a pound. And you know that if I've got the spoons... There will be cups in here somewhere. I just don't know where the cups are. But there's cups coming, my lovelies. There is cups. Now, if you saw last month when it was mine and mum's Primark challenge, last month was the turn for me to buy mum an outfit. I bought mum these little sock boots that was in the sale, and I was like, oh, I fell in love with them. I was like, I am going to be on the hump when I next go to see if I can pick them up. And I did. Now, these aren't going to be to everyone's cup of tea. You might be looking at them thinking they are god-awful. However, these were £17 down to a tenner. And I tried them on in store, and they were so comfy. You know sometimes when you just want a smart boot, but for me, my smart boots are always like chunky platform, and they've always got either a spike or a stud on them. And sometimes I'm just like... 
it's not really the vibe sometimes you need something a little bit more classy so these are the perfect little boot for me as i say 20 toes are not going to be for everyone but i absolutely love them they got a nice little stiletto heel so comfortable i was walking around the store like oh i don't want to take these off now but yeah absolutely love them and for a tenner i was like you are going straight. I don't think I would have paid £17 because it's not something I think I will get a lot of regular uh, 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 a lot of regular use out of. However, I do feel like, especially coming into like autumn and winter for this year, these will be very, very nice. Even for spring, if you're going out and like you've got jeans and a nice top, but you don't want anything open toed or like sandals because your tootsies is going to get cold little sock boot thank you very much and as i say it makes a change instead of me going out in like all of my chunky studded or spiked boots which sometimes make a smart outfit look casual because you kind of got like a cash boot on you know and i tell you what i was absolutely gobsmacked when i walked in and saw holiday bits holiday bits when it is freezing outside literally freezing so i only picked up i think i got this and i've got some beach wear but i picked up this little top now you won't be seeing this in the try and clip no one needs to see this but we all know i don't do too well with primark bottoms i have to search for primark bottoms because it's either the cut of the material will make my legs look like tree stumps sometimes they just don't cover the booty and yeah sometimes it's just a bit of a ball leg to be honest so I thought I really like this pattern. I didn't like the bottoms. I knew the bottoms were going to be like a no-go. But I like that. I thought it's a nice little nautical set. And I can easily pair this with any high-waisted black pair of bottoms. Or I've got a high-waisted nautical stripe in black and white. Could still go with it. Seven quid. And I think the bottoms were three or four. So bikini still 10, 11. However, you can get bikinis that I think are about seven or eight four pounds a piece but they tend to be the plain ones not anything like with a little pattern on them but yeah there was a uh, so much and as i say i may have picked up one little thing from the beachwear but i got it because i thought if i don't get it now you're not gonna see it when you actually need to get it shan so yeah that was why i picked that up but my lovelies i'm gonna stop and have a little refreshment because i've been rabbiting away and i'm gonna try and find these cups because i know i picked the cups up for the disney set I hope I pick, I did pick them up, didn't I? I did pick them up. Oopsie, we'll have to see. <laughs> I found the cups. I found them, I found them. So these were £4 originally, down to two quid, And it is simply the matching little cups. So we've got a quarter, half, and a whole one. Which is actually really handy because some of my recipe books are cups if they're like American recipes and i have no idea because obviously this might not be the same cup as my giant mug from b&m so it's very handy and baking is gonna look cute from now on oh i'm so happy to start baking i've got another pajama set <laughs> these ones definitely had me in like valentine's fuel so again i got them in a size small which is 10 to 12 and they were eight pound but look at how cute they are baby pink with little pink lace you've got your little vest top the only thing i wish they would do these with maybe like a long sleeve top or like a cap sleeve as an alternative i mean i know they are for summer but come on we don't really have much of a summer in britain in february do we we probably have to wait until i mean april if we're lucky it's not going to be till like may or june but uh yeah if they'd have done like a long sleeved pair of these for valentine's day i would have been straight on it they also had um uh, love hearts love hearts night shirts with knickers and i feel there was like some socks as well with them they had a whole range which i was very very tempted to almost pick up of silk pajamas very like um victoria's secret vibes pink and white pinstripe they had black ones with red hearts on if i remember correctly some were short some were like long sleeve tops with long trousers absolutely lovely i feel they was around the 16 to 18 pound mark for the price point but um yeah i also picked up a pair of pajamas that you won't see in this one you'll have to wait and see mine and mum's galentine's vlog because i got us some matching pajamas and oh my god they are the absolute 
cutest just you wait till you see guys right I thought I'd pick a pair of these up because I don't know if I ever have bought a pair of Primark joggers and not like if say I got a tracksuit set but like what they call their regular basics so I saw these I thought I'll pick them up in the grey because I don't really wear grey much six pound so they look all right they've got an elasticated waistband and then I did like it because they're cuffed at the bottom but as I say, I don't feel I've ever tried Primark regular fit joggers. Six pound, they had them in grey. I feel there was black and navy and potentially a khaki. But I thought where it is a little bit chilly, instead of living in my snoody, which I'm not going to lie, I have been living in my snoody uh, quite a lot lately. <laughs> that was the best Christmas present that I've ever had bought for me. I can say that hands down. Um, I need to like, actually sometimes get dressed. Uh, joggers I thought well it's the best of both worlds I could still potentially keep my snoody but wear some joggers with it because when I wear my snoody I don't wear anything else because it is so 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 warm like oh I absolutely love it now talking about the beach selection I picked up these trousers which you're probably thinking Shan they were £10, I got them in a size small, but they're like the beach paluzzo trousers. So I won't show these on because they will be see-through, but they are so oversized and stretchy, I feel like I could have probably gone down a size, but I just liked having the bagginess of them. And then they're really wide leg, and then they come all the way down. So it is a typical beach trouser, and I just thought, I don't really have anything like this. I was trying to think back from last year, and I'm thinking... So what did I wear? I know I had like a kimono and I know I only had one pair of beach trousers which was like a um, snake printy patterned ones but I don't have any plain. They did have them in black as well but they didn't have my size so it might be next time I go I will pick a pair up in black so then at least you've just got your staple colours you know because these are also great for if say you're in an all inclusive restaurant and you can't go into the restaurants at lunchtime chuck these over your bikini however sometimes if you've got a black bikini under white things some places can still get funny um i've been in a few places where they are so strict at the point that you can't come in showing any form of swimwear when you're going for lunch because obviously no one wants to be looking at lady bits and man parts when you're eating so they are very very strict to a t on some of them so i think i definitely will pick up a black pair and i didn't think 10 pound was too bad the ones I got in River Island, I feel they were, I got them in a sale and I still feel they were like 15 or 20 pound in the sale. If they were 10 or I could get two pairs. So yeah, I think I would definitely be going back and picking up the black for next month, that's for sure. Now, this is something very different for me, okay? And this was kind of like practical, Shannon. So I picked this up in a size small and it was £12. It says locate bag attached to the back of the neck, gather the jacket and fold into the bag and pull on a draw cord. So this is like a Packamac, I think. I think that's how they call it, Packamac. Is it Packamac? I don't know. I feel like it's called Packamac. So it says lightweight shower resistance, packable, recycle, £12. So, oh, and the bag's in it. How am I going to roll that jacket up into that? I mean, I'd have to roll it very bloody tightly. But anyway, I thought I would pick this up. So, it's cuff sleeves, which is great. It's got a little cuff bit in the middle and you've got pockets. And most importantly, it's got a hood. I, when I went to the log cabin, had all intentions of going hiking. However, it's not as simple as I thought. <laughs> I thought you just drove somewhere and then went off for a walk. It's not. There's um certain points to like pick up where the peaks are and everything like that. And I was about... 45 minutes to an hour away from the actual peak district valley like the starting point i think so i thought right but i do want to go back or in the summer try my first hike so now i'm on the hunt for like hiking boots and like outdoorsy weather things so like a waterproof trousers and bits and bobs like that so when i saw this i was like cute they also had it in black and white but i thought pink just to put a little bit of colour into it and I say for £12 I thought this is ideal I would probably keep this in the back of my car throughout the year because it's always handy when say if you're going out or you get caught short or the weather's a bit naff 
chuck this over and as i say i saw some in the outlet when i went away in i feel it was called the great outdoors or go outdoors and they were still like 30 40 pounds because obviously they're a branded one but i don't mind a branded one i mean i don't need a branded one primark primark is a brand in its own right isn't it and i absolutely love it love it love it love it oh you know what i was saying about the makeup bag i got another one this one is now i'm toying between the two because i feel like this one looks classier this is a little initial one and again this was five pounds so it was a pound more but i do feel it looks a lot classier however i like the practicality of a see-through one because you can see through what it is i don't know mum's already told me i've got to decide on one so i'm like i don't know i do think this looks nicer so like if i was away this would look nicer like on say the side of a vanity unit or the bathroom table but then that is more practical because i can literally just look through and see what i need so i don't know but four and five pound i don't think are bad prices um i seen the brand skinny dip now where was i and i saw them i could have potentially been in the range i think the range do like a little part of skinny dip and um their bags were like eight nine pound and they was half the size of them just purely for a brand i was like hmm i don't i don't i think that's worth it so yeah i've got two there i need to pick what do you want do you think i should go for see part of me is thinking the see-through one you can only really use that in the summer times because it's got love hearts on but no it shouldn't because you could just love yourself all year round <laughs> I, I, I see how this is how my brain works like my brain works very very oddly to say the least right i picked up a gym set guys but it was a three piece a three piece gym set which is all twisted at the moment and i can't get it out there we go right first off i blooming love this color the only thing i'm not too keen on is the crop top style but we shall see so this is like the sports bra version i love this like pink tie-dye mosaic effect so this was six pound for the top which i'm thinking okay i don't i don't know how i feel about a square neck that's the only thing i don't know how i feel about this it's slightly different on the back it's a nice low back but i'm just the neckline i'm thinking hmm so that was six pound for the crop top the bottoms were ten pound so they with primark they do a lot of like these exposed seams you see this here so you see the exposed stitch they go down 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 nothing quite unusual about these i mean hopefully they've got a good bit of stretch to them we shall see we shall see so you could stick at the crop top and the bottoms that would be 16 pound for your set but i also then saw they had the matching long sleeve top which i'm thinking it's cold i've booked my first gym class back next week and i'm absolutely bricking it already i'm not gonna lie um this was eight pound so 16 24 if you wanted a three-piece set but it's the long sleeve top so you will see in the try on clips with me with both alternatives on but I don't know, I just really like the pattern. I really, really liked it. I feel like I bought something like this very similar last year. But it was more pink with like yellow and violet, I want to say. But yeah, I like this. The only thing I'm not too keen on is, we'll see, I'm not really like a square, square top, I don't know. We shall see. But yeah, absolutely love that. See, very like pink theme, guys. I very much was in the like self-love pink girly stage when I was uh, going through there, that's for sure. Now, I've picked up some jeans because, again, if you saw the Primark challenge that I'd done for mum, I picked her up a pair of jeans and she absolutely loved them. Now, I can't remember for the life of me what that brand was called. So, I've kind of winged it. I think this is them. The Sculpting Skinny Super High Rise. I'm hoping these are them. These are £12. So I just picked up a light denim wash pair. But they're kind of stretchy like a jegging. But they have the zip and the button for the jean. So they come down. They're not cuffed or anything. They're just a regular length. They had them in like a nice acid wash. 
a dark denim, um, a bright denim like my ones from Tesco. All I remembered was the ones that I got mum were something sculpted and they were £12. However, there was another one and I think it was super high waist sculpt or something like that and I'm thinking, oh, please don't say that I am going to be getting the wrong one. So we will see. You will see in the try on clip whether they got a yay, a nay or if I've got the wrong one. If they do fit though and they are the right one, I did say to mum on when I got her whole keep the tag because she's keeping her jeans i come back and i said mum what was the name of your jeans she went oh i can't remember i was like did you not save the tag she was like i knew i was supposed to do something i was like okay and then coming down to the few final things in the haul my lovelies how gorgeous is this how gorgeous now i won't be showing this on because it's very lacy nudie so this is a bodysuit from the primark collection range however it was 14 pounds i got it in a size small it was in the range near the lingerie so i feel like this is supposed to be hey like a little bodysuit it is a thong back and it's also poppers so there's no like needing to take your whole bodysuit down if you need to go for a wee wee or anything it's a popper which I absolutely love, and I loved the little button and cut out detail. I feel this could be very, very nice indeed. But yeah, it's a bit too sheer, so that won't have a trial clip, I'm afraid. A little bit too sheer for my liking. And the last thing I got, who remembers, I got the green oversized jacket. I've picked up the pink, but this is the boxy jacket. So this isn't as long as the green one. It's just a little boxy off the shoulder jacket and you was £20. I think if you see these or you see the green jacket, please try and get it. Mum has now picked herself up the green one and now she's eyeing up this. So we could be twinning on both of our jackets and also it was pink. So I feel like it was meant to be for the month of February. But yeah, love this material. I have worn my green one to death. It's probably one of my favourite pieces that I've bought this year. And I feel like this could be coming in at a close joint first or second. We shall see, eh? But my lovelies, my bed is filled with loads of pink, loads of colour and a load of probably unnecessary items. So that means the Primark haul has been a good one. So my lovelies, I don't think Primark has done too bad. As I say, if you do go down to your local store, you will see there is a huge selection of like their Valentine's range. And it will be like they've got some tops with like a little love motifs on. Huge pyjama selection. As I say, they've got robes, long sleeves, short sleeves, silky nighties, everything like that. Um, also in the pyjamas that are already wrapped up, say your fleecy pyjamas, there's quite a few little gimmicky Valentine's PJs in there, which as I say, you will see on mine and mum and G's Galentine's vlog. But yeah, I don't think I've done too bad. I'm very excited. It is nice to see bright colours. Like I know I like my greens and dark reds and crimsons and blues, but it is nice to see like the pinks and greens. There's not too much lemon out though. It seems to be blue. Blue is the main thing at the moment, but... I skipped the blue stage and I've just stuck with the pink stage for this month. But yeah, if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your favourite bit of the haul? Do you think the Mickey Mouse cups and spoons were unnecessary? Or are you going to be rushing down there to pick up a set before they're all gone? And I mean, hey ho, what makeup bag should I keep? Should I think practical or should I think looks? I'm still undecided, but guys, take care, stay safe as always, and I shall see you, I think this is going up Monday, so I'll see you tomorrow, yep, I'll see you tomorrow for the Valentine's vlog, <gasps> bye guys!